Uh, hello and welcome. Jiminy Christmas. Welcome to the mothership. Hello. I I was just I was just y'all. I'll show y'all something. I showed y'all. I told you I'd show you, and now I'm gonna show you. No, I'm kidding. If y'all were watching that video, we were talking about this knife. Here's a cardboard box. This will probably work. Okay. Waxy side? Not waxy side. That all depends on you. Sometimes I like the waxy side on the outside if I like the color. Sometimes I don't like the color. Sometimes you got enough tape that you don't care what the color is. We're going to use clear tape on this just so you can see. The biggest thing about doing any of this is your sheath, your sheath, your cardboard, half a gas can. This is traditionally this is traditionally made out of a Olympia beer box. This part of your knife, okay, most people are going to probably want to make their sheath like this. Don't do that. Your knife won't, it won't be tight enough. Make sure the handle of your knife is inside your piece of cardboard. I'd say, it, I'd say at least half an inch, you know, maybe a little less than half an inch, you know, quarter quarter I don't know that's not gonna work if it's a if it's a smooth handle bring it into half okay and if it pokes out the bottom don't worry about it we can fix that with tape or another piece of cardboard so don't worry so look you just simply Captain Spaulding shout out to Captain Spaulding uh, I'm into horror I'm into horror also just so you know uh, but I was gonna say, Captain Spaulding, you, you you will be able to do this, my friend. You would be able to do this. How many people have that guy tattooed on them? <laughs> All right, so look, do you dig? We're one inch. I mean, we're half an inch in, and we have folded it. Okay. Now when you fold it, your shit's gonna come. Every time you fold it, it's gonna pop out just a little bit. So make, don't just, you dig what I'm saying? And then look, just roll it. Now as you roll, it's gonna crease this way. Do you see how the first one was straight? So you have to watch that. And when you do the next one, you have to, I don't, you can't see what I'm doing because it's it's difficult. But you got to work this one back this way. See that to bring it to bring it back straight. You know. And what we're looking at is we when we're done, whatever on the top isn't even. We're just gonna give it a little trim, okay? But the main vein is that this cardboard is fucking tight as you can make it, okay? <clears throat> now look, my fucking some of my my um, some of my uncle my granddad some of my uncles who went to fucking Vietnam motherfuckers who know how to tan hides and shit. I know how to. Tan, does anybody want to learn how to tan hide? We'll do that. But what, me and Dylan gotta go get some hide to tan. I don't got no raw. I don't got no raw hide here. Just uh, oh, I do actually have one piss strip of raw hide that we will repair something with. <gasps> Y'all might love that. I might even show you that. Anyway, let's get this done and then we'll do another video. So look, I've rolled this motherfucker really tight, okay? And you don't want it to become too thick. See, look, see the, see, look. That's traditional, that's traditional Eskimo word. See, look. You all speak, uh, you all speak Yupik. Because you say, see, look. 
Yeah. There's a lot of words like that. Took a look. I went and took a look. A lot of English people say that. Took a look. That's it. That's native word. Took a look. You don't want this prick to get too thick. Contrary to other thing, other pricks that you do want thick. Uh, so dig it right here. This is done. Now I, I have, I have my knife in this fucking cardboard. But there's another knife right here somewhere. I'm just looking for it. <laughs> there's a lot of customs on the table here. So look. Oh, should I stand? I don't want to be vulgar, but look, I'm wearing clothes. And then look, we're just going to cut this. And everybody says, oh, don't cut toward yourself. Don't cut toward yourself. Motherfucker. You only tell that to children. You only tell that to children. You only tell... I shook my hand because I have a little... I didn't cut myself, but I shook it because I have a bit of the Carpel tunnel. You get... Is it my... You like, you get your... You wake up and your shit's like... Nobody else does that? You gotta shake it out? Obviously you haven't chopped as much wood as lack. <laughs> you obviously haven't punched as much shit as lack. <laughs> or maybe you type on a maybe you type on a typewriter for a long time. Notice a lot of typewriters didn't give you carpal tunnel because they were built like this. But keyboards are all you know, fleecing of America. Look, you want to use duct tape because duct tape is more longer, you know, termed or whatever. Um, but I just found this and this will work. Also, the duct tape can get super tight without, without a chance of breaking it, right? And then look, all you need to remember, because I, I see a lot of people don't understand this, you know, and like even, even an electric, oh look, he's got that cool knife. Even an electrician, you know, even an electrician wrapping up your motherfucking uh, wires in your house with electrical wire. Like, they, nobody's understanding that. Okay, just remember, and, and like, I know a lot of y'all are smart, but you know what? So, people, so many people are not. Can wrap your tape the same direction that you were folding the cardboard, right? Because so many people will actually go the other direction and they'll start to fight the the lip you know and, and I, I've seen people do that and I'm just like are you stupid is this your first time and if it is your first time did you not think about this man I said in another video that the plan of Alaskans is there is no plan and that's halfway true what a what I how I look at it and what I was taught <coughs> is no matter what's going my hair's a wreck I just woke up a little while ago I haven't done anything except put the shirt on uh, you must know every possible every possible thing that could happen good or bad mostly bad you need to know what all those are and then you need to have a response for every one of those things and you need to have about two backup responses to your first response to every one of those things to every one of those things no matter what it is no matter what it is you know what i mean like this that and the other oh what if we do this what if we fall through the ice oh what are we going to do what if that? everything and like when you live alone in the woods which i did after my grandfather died you know i mean like that's what you do and so like having no plan is like you're always cutting wood and you're always making sure you know you have food shelter water and clothing and those are the necessity things you know happiness is in there too but you can find that with or without people you really can but it's hard to do it in a mass society to do it without people <laughs> right i don't know let's not get into that but anyway you don't have a plan but you have so much experience that whatever whatever adversities arise you know what the fuck's going on because you've been for lack of a better word trained you know what i'm saying uh now look so this is clear tape this is not going to last very long but so you i i've done about three wraps boop 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 and then down to the bottom and then always always cap the end because that's where the moisture is going to come in from okay and like again with duct tape, I'm also not trying to waste a lot of tape because I have, 
I don't really carry this around in a sheath anymore, and I don't have one. But so you see what I just did there? It's been capped on the bottom, okay? Now, now, now look at this, you guys. Look at this. There's nothing, I'm not, I mean, I, I, I don't want you to think I'm squeezing it. How can I show you that? Uh, I don't know, like, I don't know how to show you that, but like, I'm not squeezing it, right? Look, look. I'm not squeezing it. And you'll see, look, you say look. Now watch very carefully. You see that last bit? And like, I'm not exactly happy with this, maybe, but there should, there, just like a Kydex holster, you should feel a kind of like a whoop, a bloop. You're gonna all, ah, ah. I'm supposed to wear, oh, it's over. Oh, I've, I'm not doing the gag because I'm not wearing the same shirt. Ah! But anyway, so when you're in the field or whatever, you need you got your little knife. You it, this will work for any knife. Uh, and then you, and then you can take this and you can rivet it or glue it or do whatever you need to do to your suspenders, to your gun uh, sheath. My brother Puff, God bless him. Uh, he had a badass fucking old hickory, no, Chicago cutlery kitchen knife in a fucking beer box sheath, and it was duct taped to his fucking sling of his rifle, you know? And he had it just like that, because he carried his rifle over his shoulder, you know? Anyway, that's how you make an official half a gas can beer box 99760 knife sheath. Tradi again, traditionally made out of a Olympia beer box and duct tape. Anyway, this has been General Like Sivrak. I'm going to drop this video today because it's not necessarily Star Wars related, but uh, what are we going to call this? What are we going to call this? I don't know. But anyway, appreciate you guys.